Our day started out a little slow. It was pretty rainy this morning. We were a little worried about how the day was gonna go this morning, but we finally got something to work in our favor and we rode some scooters, went to a couple different breweries. One we were not able to because they were at max capacity. Went to dinner or went to lunch at the Urban Cantina and then came back to the hotel to get freshened up to go to Ebor. It just stopped raining, so. According to one weather app, it's the 80% chance of rain for like the rest of the day. And then the other one, there's no chance after one o'clock. So one of them's gonna be correct. <laughs> to get a drink and she gave us these cups because you can drink on the river walk as long as you have these cups I guess and they have little maps on all the spots but she means you can drink alcoholic beverages on the river walk if you have a specific kind of cup oh yeah everything's it's like a lot of construction going on right here. They're like all brand new. I told you there's gators. Let's go gator. I told you there's probably gators in that river. I want to see one. I think we've come to the end of the river walk here. It just ends. Look, it just ends. This place looks like it's gonna be really cool. Nobody cares about Tampa. It's one of the most underrated cities in the state of Florida. A large chunk of the city seemed to be in the middle of an extensive transformation. In every direction you looked, massive buildings were being constructed. Nobody cares about Tampa now, but maybe they will. The city seems to have an inviting future. Water Street. They got the trolley trail that runs through here. You got this. I don't even know what this is, but. Look at this. Look at the side of the And then the brick. Yeah, it's pretty. It is very pretty. And it's done very well. There are so many ways to get around in Tampa if the weather is permitting. <laughs> but we just have to find ways to get around. Uh, Google Maps has been really helpful for us. That it, I mean, it'll even tell you different forms of transportation that you can use. It's getting hot now. The sun it is just out. so hot, but it's so humid. How are those jeans? Oh my god, hot. I'm <laughs> so hot right now. <laughs> I wish I wore a sports bra because I'd probably just walk around a sports bra right now. It's hot. Favorite part of the day so far was the scooters. <laughs> they were a blast. They're definitely something you have to do when you're in the city. So, they're dangerous, but they're fun. <laughs> this is the way to get around in Tampa. Now we just have to find one for me. Things for the first time. I think now we're like 
in a local city, we're gonna hop on them damn thing. Oh, get on. So we've always fun. wanted to when we're in their city, but we never get on them. But yeah, that's the way to get around the city. <laughs> fun, it's super on fun. Scooters. I feel like the bikes are I feel a like a teenager expensive. again. <laughs> So we're sitting outside at Magnanimous Brewery here, and we're having a beer. I got a sour, Brandy got, what did you get? I don't a even beer. know what beer I got, what it was called? I got a brochure. Something Palmer? Axel Something. Palmer. Axel Palmer. <laughs> What'd you get? A brochure. And mine's pretty good. Mine's good. It's good, it's got like black tea in it, you can taste the tea, it's pretty interesting. I love these kind of beers though, I'm always experiment I never drink the same beers usually <laughs> unless it's like a commercial beer of course I want to take scooters everywhere we go now me too we're gonna go down to the next brewery that's open with our with our little spins we hid them across the street so nobody gets them. get a DUI on your on your on your scooter oh my god no that would be terrible <laughs> We rode some scooters, went to a couple different breweries. One we were not able to because they were at max capacity. Went to dinner or went to lunch at the Urban Cantina. This place is, has fantastic reviews. What? And they have fantastic reviews and they are known for their margaritas. And I love Mexican food. Margarita, babe. Tastes like a margarita. Tastes like a margarita. Is it live up to the hype? No. no. It's pretty. So we went to the Urban Cantina and we had a waitress named Mariah who was a very good waitress. The food was very good. The chips were homemade chips. They were still warm when they got to our table. This also was pretty good. The margaritas were great. The service took a hot minute to get to us. But there it is. Got, once we started getting served, it was, we had good service. Oh, they have a little parklet there that you can sit and eat at. So, yeah, I recommend it. It was good. I feel like I've just been talking about the weather all weekend. Because you can't believe that it's real. <laughs> I can't. It's not real, is it? We talk about this kind of stuff every time we go away in vacation and in the winter. winter. <laughs> yeah, but you come here in the summer, it's like, it's hot. Oh, uh, uh, shit. But we're usually in on the uh, on the beach, so it's not as bad. You know, you're always in the water. And yeah, I mean, we always have a pool. We always get a place in the pool. But if you're actually out in the streets, though, that time of year, like doing what we've been doing, it would be so it would hot. Be so Sweat. Yeah, you would be. You would have to take like three showers a day. I'm, oh, but the humidity <laughs> would be enough to just. <laughs> this morning it was pretty rainy, very cloudy. It actually rained for several hours this morning. So I posted on the Tampa Facebook page um, some recommendations, asking for recommendations on what to do on a rainy day in Tampa, and we got some really great ideas. So those ideas, I think, will stay in the back of my memory. Some people were kind of snarky and like, oh, there's a stay-at-home order. You should probably just stay home. I flew like uh, two hours down here, so I'm definitely not staying in my hotel room. So and then. someone else said, hashtag gonna die in the COVID generation. <laughs> All right. But yeah, people were actually giving some great ideas. So if you're looking for something to do and you can't figure it out, find yourself a Facebook page on social media and get some suggestions because all of those people have either been here or live here and they had some wonderful ideas. If you're not into Facebook and all that, where else can you go for your information? You can do like, um, you can actually just Google um, things to do on a rainy day in Tampa and TripAdvisor will give you the top 10 things to do on a rainy day in Tampa. So, which a lot of those things were actually on the list of the things that people suggested. So I've been looking forward to going to Ebor. Uh, what's it about Ebor that you know of that's so special? It looks like it's almost kind of set up how like New Orleans looks. Like the small streets, the small old style decorative fun party atmosphere. But it's, I do believe it's Cuban, the, the Cuban area, so I'm kind of excited to go down there and experience.
that's it. It was the second day of our little weekend getaway. We were just getting to know Tampa. We saw how the city was growing and full of culture. Water Street shows that Tampa has a future. Now it was time for us to head to the historic Ybor City to get a glimpse of Tampa's past.